Marie Dressler, a prominent figure in classic Hollywood, stands out for her distinctive contributions to the film industry during her era. The seasoned actress left an indelible mark not only through her remarkable performances, but also through the inspiration she provided to those who encountered her work. Whether it be a personal anecdote of how Dressler impacted one's life or an analysis of her uniqueness compared to contemporaries, the allure lies in her ability to transcend the confines of her time. In exploring Dressler's distinctiveness, one must recognize her ability to bring depth and authenticity to her characters, setting her apart from the cinematic landscape of her peers. Her performances were not mere portrayals, but rather compelling embodiments that resonated with audiences on a profound level. This innate talent allowed Wood Dressler to carve a niche for herself, earning her a place among the revered in the annals of classic Hollywood. As we delve into the legacy of Marie Dressler, it's a journey into a bygone era where her contributions reverberate through the decades. Whether reminiscing about the impact she had on personal lives or acknowledging her unique standing in the cinematic tapestry of her time, the discussion opens a window into the enduring charm of this classic Hollywood actor. What stories or memories do you hold dear about Marie Dressler? Share your experiences in the comments below as we celebrate the timeless contributions of this remarkable figure to the world of cinema. Your insights add another layer to the rich tapestry of Dressler's legacy. Marie Dressler, a Canadian-born American actress, achieved a remarkable milestone in the early years of the Academy Awards. Following Janet Gaynor's win, Dressler secured the Best Actress title at the fourth Oscars for her compelling performance in Men and Bill. This marked the beginning of a distinctive Canadian streak, with Mary Pickford and Norma Shearer succeeding Dressler in consecutive years. Notably, no Canadian-born actress has claimed the Best Actress Oscar since Dressler's triumph. Beyond her cinematic success, Dressler faced challenges during the 1920s in New York. As the first president of the Chorus Equity Association during the 1919 Actors' Equity Strike, she staunchly advocated for performers' rights. This principled stance resulted in her blacklisting by theater production companies, leading Dressler to seek opportunities in Hollywood. The move proved pivotal, shaping her transition from the struggling 1920s to the Oscar-winning moment in 1931. Marie Dressler's journey reflects not only her acting prowess, but also her resilience and commitment to advocating for her fellow performers, leaving an enduring impact on the history of American cinema. Facing personal and professional challenges in the 1920s, Marie Dressler found herself at a crossroads. Battling stage fright throughout her career, she struggled to secure significant roles. However, a turning point came when her close friend, screenwriter Frances Marion, reached out with a major opportunity in the Callahans and the Murphys. This marked a profound comeback for Dressler, leading her to MGM, where she would become a major star until her passing. Dressler's journey, marked by resilience and unexpected twists, showcases the intricate tapestry of her Hollywood success, transcending the hurdles she faced earlier in her career. This pivotal moment, orchestrated by the intervention of a dear friend, not only revived Dressler's professional life, but also had a profound impact on the trajectory of American cinema. In 1910, Dressler achieved a significant milestone in her career with the Broadway hit Tilly's Nightmare. This success laid the foundation for her inaugural motion picture, Tilly's Punctured Romance in 1914. Transitioning from stage to screen, Dressler's versatility became evident as she embraced the emerging world of cinema. The impact of this theatrical-to-film evolution is palpable, marking a crucial juncture in Dressler's journey toward becoming a renowned Hollywood figure. Amidst her cinematic triumphs, Dressler's personal life remained private. Little is known about her family, but it is reported that she had one child, a daughter, whose tragic death in infancy shrouds in mystery. This poignant detail adds a layer of complexity to Dressler's narrative, underscoring the challenges she faced not only in her professional pursuits, but also in her personal life. As Dressler navigated the evolving landscape of entertainment, her influence extended beyond the screen. She became a character in the musical play In Hell with Harlow by Paul L. Williams, a testament to the enduring impact she had on popular culture. Dressler's presence in theatrical works further solidified her status as an iconic figure whose legacy transcended the confines of the silver screen. In exploring Dressler's multifaceted life, from her Broadway success to her enigmatic personal trials and her continued resonance in artistic endeavors, we uncover a captivating narrative that extends beyond the boundaries of conventional Hollywood stories. 
Marie Dressler's journey, marked by triumphs and tribulations, reflects a nuanced and resilient artist whose impact on the entertainment industry remains indelible. Ranked as the top box office star of 1933 by the motion picture Herald, Marie Dressler's impact on the film industry was undeniable. Exhibitors recognized her drawing power through an annual poll, solidifying her position as a leading figure in Hollywood during that era. This accolade not only underscored her popularity, but also highlighted her ability to resonate with audiences. Despite her triumphs, Dressler faced challenges in her final years. Trade paper articles in November 1933 hinted at her next project, Mrs. Van Cleek, A South Seas Story. Unfortunately, this film never materialized. Struggling with illness, Dressler succumbed to cancer the following year at the age of 65. Her untimely death marked the end of a remarkable career, leaving behind a legacy that extended beyond the silver screen. Dressler's recognition as the top box office star and the anticipation surrounding her unfulfilled project encapsulate the highs and lows of her later years. Her enduring impact on cinema and the industry's acknowledgement of her star power showcase a multifaceted artist who left an indelible mark. Biographer Ronald L. Smith delves into Dressler's life and who's who in comedy, offering insights into her journey and contributions to the entertainment world. This comprehensive biography provides a deeper understanding of the woman behind the iconic performances, shedding light on Dressler's resilience, challenges, and the legacy she left behind. In exploring Dressler's recognition, unrealized projects, and biographical insights, we gain a more nuanced perspective on this influential actress. Marie Dressler's story, filled with highs and lows, triumphs and unfulfilled potentials, remains a compelling narrative in the history of American cinema. Marie Dressler's lasting impact extends beyond the silver screen. Her estate, valued at $310,000, revealed intriguing facets of her personal life. Living with James Dalton from 1914 until his death, Dressler's domestic arrangements provided a glimpse into the actress' private world. Notably, in her will, Dressler allocated funds judiciously, leaving a substantial legacy to her older sister, Benita. However, it's the unexpected beneficiaries that add a fascinating twist to Dressler's story. Her maid of two decades, Mamie Cox, received a substantial bequest, including Dressler's 1931 automobile and a significant sum of $35,000. Together with Cox's husband Jerry, who had served as Dressler's butler, they utilized the funds to establish the Coconut Grove nightclub in Savannah, Georgia in 1936, a venture named after the renowned Los Angeles nightclub. The intricacies of Dressler's will also include a $3,000 bequest to fellow film actress Claire Dubray. This distribution of her estate sheds light on Dressler's relationships and the thoughtful allocation of her wealth. Beyond her cinematic achievements and charitable gestures, Dressler's legacy endures in the annual Vintage Film Festival organized by the Marie Dressler Foundation, emphasizing her ongoing influence on film culture. Marie Dressler's story, revealed through the complexities of her estate, showcases a woman who carefully considered her personal and professional relationships, leaving an indelible mark on those who were part of her life.